recording. Hi everyone, hello Africa, hello the business in Africa community. I'm just so happy to be here again talking to you guys. Um, it's been a while that I haven't come and record, you know, live like this, <laughs> that's that we share. But right now today, I just want to do this video to actually show you how, how to create a thumbnail, you know, to look like this. I think that's, um, one of my subscribers who happens to be my elder sister Yajindala, i salute you thanks so much for always supporting she's always supporting me sharing my content thank you so much i really appreciate but today she came and then she asked me that she wants to um that she wants to know how i do my my own thumbnails she's also a youtuber and i'm going to put the link to her channel under this video because she requested for this video her channel is Yaje Ngala. Y A J E Ngala N J L. So you can always you know click on her channel. She's into fitness, health and fitness, which is something very good, and uh, you can always follow her. So I'm doing this video just for you, and then for any other person who wants to, who is a YouTuber and finding some difficulties doing thumbnails or wants to do thumbnails like like mine, you know. Um, fortunately, it's a very simple tool, very simple tool, easy to use. Nothing complicated. It's an online tool called, um, as you can see here, photo.com. F O T O R.com. So you just go to you go to your browser and just type www.photo.com. And when you do that, you should be able to log in either using your 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 Facebook or you create you know create your custom username and, and password. And all right. So when you're logged in, <clears throat> all right. So when you're logged in, you're going to see something like this. This is the interface here that you see. Um, I am just from doing this, I'm just from creating this thumbnail. So I'm going to do what we call, you have on this upper right corner, you're going to have page and then you have images. So a page is like, it's like a new blank sheet. Okay. And then now you can import images as you see my images that I import, import here. So I'm, let me just create a new blank page and go through doing, um, um, let me go through creating this same thumbnail from zero so that you understand exactly how it works, right? Okay, now uh, I'm going to just add a page. Okay, you now see I now have a blank page. Now on this other side, if you look here, you're going to have, you have templates, you have stickers, you have text, you have background, and you have the cloud. Now the cloud is like everything you store here comes up to the cloud, okay? So anything you've imported before, it stores, you have, you have a particular um space which is about 50 meg i've already used 43.7 for my own free space so I'm, I'm surely going to go back here and delete some old pictures that i don't use anymore okay but that said uh let me look at i'm looking for, for i'm looking for my logo i'm looking for my logo oh that's fine no wahala okay now you have what we call background so you can use different types of backgrounds for for your stuff you just need to click on it and then your background is going to change okay this one is a paid background so there are three backgrounds like this you see i just changed the background of my of my page so you have free backgrounds and then you have paid backgrounds let me change it to this so just depending on what you want to design and then you can do that but i usually just leave a plain white black background and then now the next thing is you have text different types of text um different types of text as well you have heading you have subheading and then you have to answer so i want to add a text here and uh you know you just type it in how to start a cat fish farm no how to start a catfish farming business okay now this is how to start a catfish farming business as you can see here here are the texts but i don't like this particular um this particular text type okay so it's easy to just come here and then you see all the text types that we have and you, as soon as you change it just keeps changing so you can select now the one that fits what you want to do depending on you know depending on the design that you're doing so i would usually go for i think sigma one i like this one because it is bold and and it gives me what i want so so holding the edges you know you can drag to to expand based on 
on your design okay so i'm going to i'm going to I, I like doing this i like putting this one this way and then now when you do that you now go to images and then you click on import and import the image that you have downloaded so this was an image i downloaded online i downloaded from google so i'll just click you just click on it and it comes here so you realize that based on the layer it comes on the other one so you can send this 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 particular image to the back so i'll go to layers and then i'll say move down so it goes now to the back you understand so you can move down move up depending on how many different layers you have so each item that you import is a layer right so um i hope you guys are following up this if you want me to go more i just wanted to do this really quick so that she can just create um you can quickly create your thumbnail okay so now i'll just drag this make it bigger resize it the way i want okay and then i bring this to the way i want uh you can also change the color if you want to put it to red or blue yeah when people prefer blue i think i want to leave it as blue and that's it now um i might want to also import i don't know if i have my logo here normally i'll put my logo somewhere my logo should be on the cloud oh this is not it but I'll just use this like like my business in African logo. So I'll usually put my logo here and same as you can see it comes on top of the fish. So I'll send it behind. I'll move it down. Let me move it down again and just step. Voila. So it goes now behind. And I can I can do whatever I want to do here. Yeah. Voila. So this is this is pretty much how how it comes and then now you can either just go save it you can share it save it or do whatever i want to do with it but i have another thing that i usually do i just screenshot it and then i take it to i take it to paint it's a very simple program and then i crop it out so it just depends on how you want to do it but and then i just crop it out so that i can now manipulate what i want to manipulate and my image is out okay but from here, you can just you can simply just save it to the location where you want it to go, and then you choose the file type and then you download it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that was just a very quick tip on how to create very good looking thumbnails. It's a very simple tool. It's free. Um, you call that photo.com. There are so many of free tools like this, very simple to use, straight to the point, and this is what I use to do my thumbnails, and I know you can use that as well. If you're new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button because I'll be bringing in a lot of other short tips on YouTubing um, in my subsequent, subsequent videos. So make sure you click on the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and also leave me a comment on whatever topic you want me to do in the nearest future. Uh, and I'm going to do that for you. Thank you, Yajin Gala, for always watching and coming back and commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, you should also go down to the description box and subscribe to her channel, Yajin Gala. The link is right there. And, um, you know, so that you can keep fit, you know. You understand what I'm talking about. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. I'm out. Bye-bye. Top four countries to start a cocoa plantation in Africa. While cocoa originated in Central America over 5,000 years ago, its popularity and production has spread globally. We look at the nations that lead Africa in cocoa production. Chocolate means many things to different people. It can be a special treat, a guilty pleasure, or a delicacy to be mulled and evaluated much like wine. But for many people around the globe, it's also serious industry. By 2021, the global chocolate market will be worth 98 billion US dollars. Chocolate is made from cocoa beans, which locally grow on cocoa trees. Historians believe that chocolate consumption originated in the pre-Columbian societies of Central America at least five millennia ago. Today, however, the production and consumption of this sweet treat is a complex world trade network. Welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel. In these videos, we bring to you exciting information about Africa and the world at large. So if you're new here, Consider subscribing and also turn on notification so you don't miss any of our videos. So who is driving the global choco industrial complex? In other words, 
which nations harvest and produce the largest crops of cocoa beans to satisfy the Earth's sweet tooth? According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, these are the top cocoa producers in Africa. Number one, Cameroon. From Chocolate Home in South America, the list now travels across the Atlantic Ocean to Africa, where all but one of the world's top five cocoa producing countries are located. In terms of total mass, West Africa produces more cocoa than any other world region. Cameroon has historically been one of the world's largest producers of cocoa, growing 275,000 metric tons in 2013. Despite this fact, the cocoa business in Cameroon is under threat. Poor management of the cocoa crop has led to a dire situation. Many of Cameroon's cocoa trees have aged past the age of prime production without newer trees or enough space to plant them. Cameroon's cocoa farmers are looking to face an uphill battle. Number two, Nigeria. Nigeria, on the other hand, plans to increase cocoa production from 367,000 to 421,300 tons in 2013-2014, rising global prices, demand, and the increased availability of cutting-edge agricultural technology have fueled significant growth in Nigeria. Hello guys, hope you're enjoying this video and if you are, make sure you click on the subscribe button. At Insurance Systems Limited, we help potential investors like you invest in Africa, just in any part of Africa. So if you're interested, contact us right now. Let's talk business in Africa. Thanks for watching. And don't go anywhere. Keep watching and make sure you hit on that subscribe button right now. Nigeria's cocoa industry. These positive indicators are not to say Nigeria's cocoa industry is devoid of trouble. Oxfam has identified a severe lack of gender equality in the cocoa farms in Nigeria. They say that women and men who perform the same roles in the cocoa harvesting process are often paid unequally. Number three, Ghana. In Ghana, cocoa is king, with the production accounting for just under a sixth of the country's GDP. Over three quarters of the country's farmers define themselves as smallholder farmers, meaning the cocoa farm is owned and maintained by farmers who live on the property. Despite the lack of corporate control, or maybe because of it elsewhere, high operational costs are taking their toll on the Ghanaian cocoa industry. Some cocoa farmers from Ghana have taken to small